Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We sincerely hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, why do cats open and close their paws repeatedly? Air kneading, or what I like to call it, is essentially the same as common kneading or contact kneading. The core reasons for this behavior are essentially the same. It all harkens back to kittenhood, the left, right, left, right pushing of the paws, and the rhythm of kneading. Kittens do it in order to access their mother's milk. This is something that never really leaves. Even senior cats, well up in years, can still knead. But why? Why do cats maintain this behavior, the open and closing of the paws? Why do it if the core purpose has long since gone? Kneading, the very act itself, cats find quite soothing. Whether it's air kneading or direct contact kneading, it can place cats in somewhat of a trance. Think of it as feline ASMR. The next time your cat is kneading, whether it's in the air or on your leg or a pillow or a blanket, take a good look at your pet's face. They'll be in the zone for sure. Far beyond a learned behavior in kittenhood and a means to self-soothe, Adult felines will often need as an outward form of expression and, at times, a bit of housekeeping, a bit of maintenance. Needing can also be used to stake claim and occupy territory. If you've ever been on the receiving end of your cat's needing, you'll know this is quite an experience at times. Probably a bit of a funny one, if we're being honest. However, this whole event, and it is an event, is done out of love. Your cat is content and showing affection for you. If your cat needs on you on purpose, let's say, perhaps on your arm or your thigh, you fit the grand slam. Cats don't just do this casually. This is the ultimate sign of love and trust. Cats also need in an effort to make surfaces more comfortable, even surfaces that are already plenty soft, like their very own bedding. And finally, the last little bit here before I share some personal stories, kneading can also be used to mark territory. Cats' paws contain scent glands. So the opening and closing of the paws is yet another way to stake claim. And as we often say, the marking of territory is more often seen in a multi-pet household where the battle to occupy property is very important. Now, story time. At the moment, I have three cats. I take care of five, but I own three, two males and a female. The female, her name is Socks. She is the undisputed queen of today's topic, the head of the air needing department. Why do cats open and close their paws? Well, just ask her. She needs at the air like it's a career choice. Open, close, open, close. And here's the kicker. If I start doing my hands in a slow air kneading motion, she'll start doing the same. The Heisman Trophy of the kneading. That is socks. Now let's talk about one of the male cats. His name is Smokey. Well, he's the king of the old school kneading. And I often have bruises on my right bicep to prove it. Up and down, left and right, it's all about the physicality for him. Here again, another career choice. The look on his face while kneading. Rather interesting. He's a blue-collar worker for sure. All he needs is a hard hat and a tool belt. Of course, when he's done, I look like I've been delivering, delivering some flying tackles on an NFL running back. But hey, it's cool. So those are my stories. And I would certainly love to read yours. Does your cat air need, or are they more of the physical contact type? Does your cat need at some rather unique times? What's the wildest or strangest things they need on? Huh, this will likely be quite informative and perhaps a little humorous. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. If this type of content is of interest to you, that is all we have for you today. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.